This is the CBS Evening News. With Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. Danger. War. Killer. Fraud. CIA. Mayhem. Crisis. Horrible. Inflation. Military threat. The flaming debris. Fatal heart attack. Stress injuries. Prison disaster. Economic collapse. Dangerous radiation. A tide of violence and human misery. A liar and an unremorseful killer. Communist international smuggling pipeline. Starving victims. And how they die. Attack. Stress injuries. Prison disaster. Economic collapse. Dangerous radiation. A tide of violence and human misery. A liar and an unremorseful attack. Stress injuries. Prison disaster. Economic collapse. Dangerous radiation. A tide of violence and human misery. A liar and an unremorseful killer. Communist international smuggling pipeline. Starving victims. And how they die. Welcome to WKB News, News at 4.45 and 45 seconds. I am Jeff Barnabas, and this is Donovan Staggs. Those glasses look well on you, Jeff. I'm liking them. Thanks, Donovan. Today, in Lubbock, Texas, a local teen was spraying water at cars as they drove by. He was given a ticket and was arrested for spraying a furtive cop. Let's go to our field correspondent, Bryson, who has all the details. You there, Bryson? Hey, why don't you, why are we doing this? Right here. Have a seat, please. Thanks, Donovan. I'm on the scene where a young, flightitious boy was just spraying water at oncoming vehicles. Oh, little did he know. So little did he know that one of them was an undercover cop. The dude, the dude, this is cop. Then gave the young boy a fine, not for spraying the cop, but rather wasting water. So, sir. How do you view the uh, new water law? Well, I think this law right now is obtuse, and the city is very niggardly. Very fascinating. Back to you, Donovan. Thanks, Bryson. Let's go to Brandon Johnson, our newscaster with the weather. Looks like it's going to be a windy day, isn't it, Brandon? Mm-hmm. Hello, Donovan, and your prognostication is correct. It is going to be a windy day. A cold front will be moving in on Friday, coming from Canada. Also, a big rainstorm will be moving in on Saturday and will be a nocturnal and vivacious night. You need to go outside because today is going to be the only day of the week. Hola, senor. We are here in Mexico, which is going to, going to be a very hot day. Oh, of course, it's always hot there. Konnichiwa. We are here in Japan, where it's going to be hot. Yes. Hi, we're here in Iraq, where it's going to be a dusty, windy day, 90% chance of suicide bombing. Pockets of resisting flowing in this way. And yes, a dusty day for Baghdad, just like always. Here in Africa, we're in the Sahara Desert where it's going to be dry, hot. Here in the tropical area where it's going to be humid, rainy. And here where there's about no water. I'm Renan Johnson, and this has been your forecast. Back to Donovan and Barnaby. Early Monday morning, two freight trains collided on a track over the San Antonio River. A homeless man and some other people were injured. The cause of the wreck was a mishap of embroiled tracks. We'll be right back with more news at 4.45 and 44 seconds. At the river mouth, the bears catch only the most vivacious, savory salmon, which is intrinsic to the needs of John West. <laughs> John West endured the worst to bring you the most salubrious salmon.
Now let's go to Bryson with the sports. Let's get started talking about the Lubbock Lone Stars. Not many people know about the, the covert football team. Arena football was just introduced to Lubbock about three years ago, but did not succeed. Hopefully, this time, it will. Also in Fontana, California, Jeff Gordon made it back-to-back -back Mixed Tail Cup victories by winning the Auto Club 500 at the California Speedway. Gordon led five times for a race high of 81 laps before beating teammate Jimmy Johnson by almost 13 seconds. It was the 66th victory for Gordon's career and his sixth in California. Back to you, Donovan. Now let's go to Bryson. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the, the movie review. The only thing I'm envious of is the people who haven't seen this movie, huh? Ben Stiller really let me down on this one. Envy is about Tim Dingman, played by Ben Stiller, and his best friend Nick Vandermark, played by Jack Black. Their best friends and neighbors and co-workers at a sandpaper factory. Tim is a hard-working, nose-to-the-grindstone employee, while Nick is a uh, dreamer and is rapidly making uh, ideas for his new invention. But Tim passes on Nick's vaporize idea, a spray that vaporizes doggy doo, only to get Nick's Stinking rich. <laughs> That's the movie review. Back to you. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you tomorrow. WKBW News at 4:45 and 44 seconds.